Hi everybody, this is Min. I'm an NHS clinical entrepreneur and the co-founder of Human, a mental health tech startup based in the UK. And yes, I'm originally from South Korea. Uh, I just wanted to bring about the taboo culture in South Korea around mental health. It's a very awkward subject to talk about and it's often heavily stigmatized. And this has actually triggered a lot of sequences and impact in my life, uh, which one of them is my experience in eating disorders, where the cultural and the societal pressure on being thin, especially in, in women, but a lot of impact on men as well, had a big impact on developing my eating disorders and it has still an impact in my life until this point, even after recovery. And this is why I'm not surprised why so many people in South Korea have disordered eating behaviors. And that's almost seen as a part of a normal daily life. People talk about dieting all the time. And it was really shocking to see the state of this from a different perspective, since I have started crossing boundaries between the UK culture and the culture in South Korea. Having said this, I think it leaves us with a great opportunity for innovation in the mental health space in South Korea. And this is partly because there is that willingness to share data quite openly and that, that proactiveness towards uh, using powerful analytics and the data to lead to uh, advanced product features. But also we have a citizen that is very well equipped and mature in terms of the digital sense. And I think the final important point is, you know, digital technology can bring about this discrete care to support people whilst we overcome this long-term change around transforming our culture to embrace mental health more openly. But of course, that's going to take time and technology can really help address some immediate problems and in the long term to really help people to stay well for longer. I'd also like to add that there has been an investment recently around 30 billion won, which is a Korean currency, around digital treatment of depression uh, research in South Korea. It really shows that our government and our, our bigger entities are also noticing the challenges and the potentials around innovation in this space. I will leave you with a note that I am a little bit concerned about potential monopoly in this space in South Korea, given the business landscape and whether they will take responsibility around creating an ethical product, a safe product and a product that's uh, equitable for people. And I think one of the powerful ways to create this or enforce this is not just through government regulations, uh, but also it's through educating the citizens and educating and empowering the people to demand these innovations to, to have these aspects. And to contribute to this, I will continue to play my part in vocally addressing mental health problems, opening up with my own experiences and continuing my innovation work in the mental health tech space as well. So thank you so much for listening.